hello viewers i welcome you all from hlt of tech channel and today we are going to create a new virtual machine in our vmware client uh, and in that virtual machine we will install the operating system that is windows server 2022 core edition and uh, in that operating system we will install the sharepoint server subscription edition on premise uh, model uh, so in this video we are just creating a virtual machine and we will install the operating system so let's start uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to create a virtual machine and uh, here I'm going to uh, create a new virtual machine I will name it sub sub subscription server 22 and uh, I'm going to select EXS size 6.5 the operating system we are going to use is Windows and we are going to select Windows Server 2016 or later I'm going to click next this is my data store I'm going to click next and I'm going to uh, assign uh, let's say four CPUs and on each CPU I'm going to define it uh, distribute it into two sockets I'm going to assign the RAM and the RAM I'm going to assign it is 16 GB and similarly I'm going to uh, give a hard disk to that for installation of uh, operating system and for installing uh, you know uh, server subscription SharePoint edition on a separate hard disk we will attach one more hard disk here okay uh, I'm going to give it a data store ISO image I've already uploaded a standard core edition 2022 uh, I will select it VM network okay I have only one network and I'm going to click next this is the summary and I'm going to click finish so my machine uh, is ready ready to be deployed as a in my farm as a uh, server subscription edition uh, operating system that is windows server 2022 okay so the installation has started and i will quickly uh, go through this video to minimize your time and i will tell you only the uh, right settings that are required okay i'm leaving it default and i'm going to click install now okay I am going to select here Windows Server 2022 data center with desktop experience I'm going to click next I'm going to accept the uh, license as always I'm going to select uh, there's two, two, two drives I'm going to install the operating system on this drive and so I will select it and I will click apply okay I will click next and the installation has started so it will take some time after that uh, our new operating system that is uh, Windows Server 2022 uh, uh, data center with the desktop experience will be ready uh, virtual machine is now ready with uh, a new Windows Server 2022 operating system we are going to give the password for the local administrator and we will click finish and now let's have a look over the new operating system Windows Server 2022 so while it's uh, starting first time let's go and install VMware tools so this is the interface of uh, Windows Server 2022 it's starting first time now what I'm going to do I'm going to install the VMware tools next next install I will also go into the just date and time and change the time zone
okay vmware tools installation is successful i'm going to click finish i'm not going to restart right now what i'm going to do i'm going to do one more setting i'm going to define the static ip because uh, since it's a server so it's always recommended that in your own premise environment you define the static ip to your uh, servers i am only dealing with the uh, ipv4 so i will give it the ip that is 10 20 30 let's say 20 this will be the subnet mask and this is the default gateway that is 10 20 30 1 so its dns will be 10 20 30 10 and i'm going to click ok close so what i have done i have uh, given the static ip and after the static ip i am going to go in command prompt and i am going to ping the dc server that is the domain controller it is necessary that it must uh, ping or it must have a reachability with the domain controller for joining the domain so the last step i am going to do in this video i am going to go into the properties and i am going to make it the member of domain advanced system settings computer name and i'm going to change it i'm going to name it sub serve app 01 okay or in other words i'm going to give it a simple name sp22 app the domain hldf.tech is my domain i'm going to click ok ok now uh, this server is successfully joined the domain so i'm going to restart it now and then i will log in this server with uh, the domain admin account rather than logging it with the local administrator okay so guys in this way uh, you can create a new virtual server of windows server 2022 domain we can also check it here if we go into the computers and refresh this list a new server has appeared here as a member server that is sp22 app 01 so in our next video we are going to install the SharePoint server subscription edition that is 2022 on our newly created virtual server of Windows Server 2022.